Hey guys, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything we're going to be looking at today came from the Fayetteville Antique Mall in Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So I got this really awesome Enid Collins style peacock purse. It was half off of that price there, so I only paid $12.50 for it. As you can see, it's a little rough. Um, there are some sequins missing, and, you know, it just needs to be, basically needs a little bit of TLC is what I was trying to say. But overall, aside from some of the beadwork and stuff, such missing, it's in pretty good shape. It does have a smell of, like, cigarettes to it, unfortunately. So what I think I'm going to do is maybe I'll stick a couple of dryer sheets inside of it, and maybe that should absorb some of the odor, or at least I hope. It does have a wooden bottom, and I've looked it up online before I purchased it, and I don't think it's an actual Enid Collins piece. I think it's just an Enid Collins style piece, but one's in good shape. We're going for upwards of like 80 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So this one, because it's in rougher shape, I might ask 50 and maybe take offers of like 40 for it, because someone is going to have to take some time to restore it, if or if they just want to keep it the way it is, however they choose to do. So. so this is a really cool item. I only paid five bucks for it. It's a vintage globe, and what I love about it is that it's got the different zodiac signs on the base. I saw one of these at an antique mall maybe about a year and a half ago, and someone wanted like 35 bucks for it. I was like, I'm not paying $35 for a toy globe. But I was thrilled to get this for five bucks because I love, love, love the images of the different zodiac signs. I just could not leave that behind. And the globe itself is in good condition. It does have a dent right here. But honestly, it's an old toy. You can't expect this stuff to be perfect. All right, so the next two items that I'd like to share with you all are a new old stock, quote unquote, teen skipper doll from 1996. I did pay $10 for that. And I think I can probably get about $40 for her, even though the box is a little bit beat up, but that was still a phenomenal find. Now I might need you all's help with this one. I paid $26.40 for this Sinclair gasoline sign. I know that this stuff is reproduced over and over and over again. But let's look at the back though, and this is what really made me take the shot in the dark. This to me just, it looks like it's got age to it. It's embossed, and it looks like it's got some wear and tear. It's kind of a thinner metal, but it doesn't have like the typical, it, it just looks older to me. It doesn't look like one of those newer reproductions. But sometimes some things are too good to be true, and maybe this is a very well done reproduction, but something about it to me just doesn't say it is. Again, I took a gamble at $26.40 on it, but if it is original, that's, that's amazing that I got it for that cheap. All right, the next three items we're going to be looking at are these. For $1.75, I picked up this really awesome California pottery figurine. She does have a paint spot missing right here, and there is crazing on her, but she's still wonderful. Couldn't leave her behind. I just thought she was fantastic. She will probably go in a live sale. For $4, I picked up this angel Christmas tree topper. I think it's probably from the 60s because it says Hong Kong on the back of her halo. See? Made in Hong Kong. For $1.25, I got these different blue Christmas tree, or Christmas tree ornaments. They look like they were for corsages or something like that, like they were a crafty item. But I couldn't leave them behind because you guys know me and my blue. I just love blue. Since these two items appear to be from the same era, I thought I would share them with you all. So this is a really awesome 
program for Billy Rose's Aquacade. It was for the New York World's Fair in 1939. Look at those deco graphics on here. Isn't that just amazing? I just, I fell in love with it. For $9, it was totally worth it to me. Now this is something that's really interesting. I love the contrast of the silver, green, and the white. It's a McCormick teapot. I paid $12.50 for it. It was really, really interesting. I've never seen that before. So it comes with a tea infuser, ceramic or porcelain, and it has a lid here, which has got a little bit of wear and tear to it, but you expect that with pieces like that. I mean, these were supposed to be used. And on the bottom, it's marked McCormick & Co. Banquet Teas Balto. Really interesting. Again, never seen that before, but I absolutely think it is phenomenal. So I didn't want to spend too much time looking through this program, but I thought you guys might like to see this. Uh, it's really cool. We've got Eleanor Holm, whom I've never heard of before. And then, of course, we've got the fantastic and very well-known Johnny Weissmuller, who played Tarzan along with Maureen O'Sullivan. And I think that was a Paramount picture, if I'm not mistaken. But this is just a fantastic program. And again, you really just cannot beat the illustrations on these old programs in any ephemera. It's, ah, oh, I absolutely love it. For $6.50, I picked up this really awesome Money Go Round Six Purpose Saving Bank. It's marked Hong Kong. When I opened it up and looked at it, I really, really love it. Let me show it to you all. So how it works is you insert the coin into the selective slots. Like we've got holidays, we've got gifts, we've got sun dries, never heard of that. We've got clothes, we've got the bank. This one's for you, Katie Vintage and Vinyl Records. And what you do is you turn the top and it will move over onto the slot that you wanna put the money in. But how amazing is that? That That is super unique. I, uh, that's, oh. Uh, I love, love, love the graphics on this. That was totally worth $6.50, don't you think? For $10, I picked up these really nice swirl patterned candlesticks. And I found out that they were made by Jeanette. They are the swirl optic pattern. And what's really cool about them is that they glow under the black light. How cool is that? So these are uranium. And they are the Jeanette Swirl Optic Pattern, according to my research. There are no cracks or chips to them. They'll need a good cleaning, but they will turn out beautifully in the end. I couldn't leave those behind for 10 bucks. Would you have bought them for that price? Because I did. All right, and the last three items that we're going to be looking at for the larger goods are these awesome books. Now, the books themselves are not terribly old, but the stars that they are about, I guess you could classify as older Hollywood stars. We've got Love, Lucy by Lucille Ball. I think that was six. We've got Goldie, A Lotus Grows in the Mud. That was, I think, seven because that one is signed by her. And then we've got The Girl with the Million Dollar Legs, uh, Betty Grable by Tom McGee. I have plenty of books about... Hollywood stars that I want to read. Currently, at the moment, I am reading a book called Death of a Model. It's by Clifford Leindecker. It's about the death of the model named Linda Sobeck, who was savagely taken by one of the uh, photographers that she did a photo shoot with. They did do a Forensic Files episode on that case. I will link that down below in the description box. You can find them on YouTube if you want to watch it. And I just want to warn you all, when you watch one Forensic File episode, you will want to watch many others because they are so fascinating. Trust me, I've, I've watched pretty much every episode that they made over and over and over again because they're just so good.
So yeah, that's, uh, that's my little input on that. All right, you guys, and moving along to the smaller goods, let's go ahead and check out what I've got here, shall we? So for $6 on sale from 8 I got this really awesome elephant planter. Looks more like a circus elephant, if you ask me. I believe it was 6 because 25% off, let's see. So half of 8 is 4 and half of 4 is 2, so that's 25%, I believe. So about $6. I could probably nab twelve, fourteen for that at a live sale. This I absolutely love, and I snatched it immediately when I went into this one booth. Uh, this is a Brockway glass clown bottle. Paid three for it. It's missing the lid, but I still love it regardless. I love clowns, folks. Some of them are a little bit creepy, but some of them I don't mind. So I couldn't leave that behind. For $3 a piece, I got two Royal Copley birds. I think they have different bottoms. No, I think they're the same. So they are a matching set. So I paid six total for both of those. Probably could nab 16 to $18 for those at a live sale, or if you happen to be interested in them, you can email me at the bottom my in the description box. My email is there, skullking95680 at yahoo.com. Now this item is really, really interesting. Um, it's made by the Yoni Japan Toy Company, and um, it's really cool. It's, um, it's supposed to be a little boy fishing in a pond, and it says no fishing on the sign there. This has actually been at this antique mall for many years, and... When I saw that the Booth Fam was now 75% off, I actually forgot about it the last time that I visited. And I said, you know what? I will go ahead and buy it this time for the 75%. I would have never spent $40 on it. That's about right, like what they go for online. But I was happy to get it for 10 because I just think he's super cool and, and he does work. You twist up the little knob that's on the bottom there and he spins around with the little fishy, see? Really, really cool. I thought that'd be awesome for like spring or summer displays. I just love that. Now these three girls here, so I paid a dollar each for those. The girl on the very left, I actually bought the last time I went and then I found uh, the two other ones the second go around. I paid a dollar each for them again. They are marked Occupied Japan, so that means they date from about 1945 to 1952. I believe I don't know if they're ashtrays or what they are, but I thought they were really cool. And this is this one. I know they're card related because they have the heart and they have the diamond on here. Again, Occupied Japan. Now this one had a terrible accident before shooting. Um, she fell off of my lap because I had her on there and she fell on the concrete floor and broke. Thank goodness for crazy glue because you can't, well, you can kind of see it in the light where the damage is. But if you just have her sitting on display, you're not even going to notice her. I'm keeping all three of these, so I don't really mind that it got broken. I'm a little bummed that I broke it, but I mean, I can't even really see it when I'm in the when I'm not in the direct light, so it's as if it never happened. Although I do have a chunk of her missing out of here. So I was a little bummed about that, but it is what it is, and yeah, no big deal at a dollar. So this isn't technically old, old. I did pay $5 for it. It's a Linux trinket box for the year 2000. I just really, really liked the, it almost had like a space age look to it. I probably will end up selling that maybe for $10, $12. Because I just love the rocket. I just thought it was really, really fun. And they've got like the stars and the moon on it. It just, just really, really cool. I almost forgot about this really nice old beaded purse. That was $4. All the beads look to be there except for maybe one or two right here. Nice heavy duty purse. Yeah, they don't make stuff like that anymore. And it's in pretty good shape overall. Over here, I believe I paid $2 for this Valentine. It says made in Germany. It says, my heart is yours, my Valentine. It's an elephant holding a sack of hearts. So that was really, really cute. For $6, I picked up this tin wind-up ladybug. I believe it's made in Japan. Oh, made by the same company who made the uh, fishing boy. So that was cool. Paid 6 for that. For $5, I picked up this really cool Travel Lodge ashtray. I just, I don't smoke. Nobody in my household smokes, but the old ashtrays and the advertising on it can be really, really cool. 
The bear that's on here reminds me of the winter lights that they had at Seneca Creek State Park when I was much younger. So that was really cool. For only $2, I picked up a really awesome dog clicker. That's kind of loud, and I apologize if that hurt your ears there for a second. But really, really fun. I couldn't leave that behind. For $2, I picked up this really awesome enamel elephant. Looks like he's holding a pearl. No markings to say who made it, but I love it regardless. So I couldn't leave that behind for only two bucks. Now this is really, really fun. This is a postcard and it's got a saucy lady on it. And what's even cooler, it squeaks. My dad had one of these a long time ago and I thought it was the coolest thing. There we go. So I picked that up for two bucks. Now this I don't think is old, but I really, really liked the color of him, the blue and the uh, clear glass. Paid four for that. I just thought that that was amazing. Couldn't leave that behind, and I was really on just like a buying kick. Like I've seen so many great things at great prices, I just had to grab them. So that is everything that I would like to share with you all today. Let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite items from this haul. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram. The link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.